Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe to the channel for regular content on ancient architecture as well as all the latest news from the world of archaeology. There's been a new scientific study and DNA analysis of 15 individuals from Easter Island has been looked at and it's revealed two important observations. Firstly, there was never an historic population collapse. And secondly, Native Americans did commingle with the population. In this video, I'll be giving you a short overview of the new findings, and I'll leave links to the new study in the description below. Although we all know it as Easter Island with the Moai statues, it's actually called Rapa Nui, and it was long believed the island's population collapsed long ago. Was it because of deforestation, the overexploitation of local resources, or was it because of warfare in the 1600s, long before the Europeans even arrived? Well, in truth, it doesn't really matter, because a new study in the journal Nature says the population collapse did not even take place. So, what's happened? Representatives of the Rapa Nui community have allowed scientists to analyse the remains of 15 people that have been kept in a French museum. Sometime in the late 19th or early 20th centuries, the bodies were taken from the island. In the analysis, the scientists found no evidence of a genetic bottleneck in the 17th century. And of course, if there was a population collapse, you'd expect a bottleneck. Instead, there looks to have been a steady increase in the island's small population, and it continued all the way up to the 1860s. And then the island became under attack by Peruvian slave raids, and then the population did decrease by about a third. But before outside invaders reached the island, there is no evidence at a genetic level that the population suffered any kind of self-inflicting collapse and a collapse would certainly lead to a reduction in genetic diversity. The study also noted how there was never any more than 3,000 people on the island, and that is far away from the 15,000 maximum previously estimated. So that's the first find, and the second one confirmed by this new genome study is that past inhabitants of Rapa Nui did have Native American DNA. This mixing took place between 1250 and 1430 AD, and these findings support another genetic study from 2020. In the previous study, it found mixing between Polynesians and native Colombians around 800 years ago. So what can we get from this? Well, it looks like we've got solid evidence the people of Rapa Nui did cross the Pacific Ocean to the Americas. Or perhaps it was the other way round and it was the Native Americans who journeyed to Easter Island. Either way, what scientists now know is that before the Europeans arrived, 90% of the Easter Island genome was Polynesian in origin. The other 10% was Native American, with interbreeding taking place between 1250 and 1430 AD. And it is well known that Polynesians explored other islands in the southeastern Pacific so I think it's a fair assumption they made it all the way to the Americas. But not everyone accepts the results of this new study. Joanne Van Tilburg is an archaeologist and director of the Easter Island Statue Project, and they remain sceptical, and say further research is required, and it's all because of the provenance of the human remains analysed. They were taken post-European contact and have no proper documentation. Hundreds of bones were taken from exposed and open kists, and most bones from Rapa Nui in collections around the world don't even have a site name. So, whatever the truth, the new study does provide some brand new data, but I guess everyone won't accept it until further evidence comes to light. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.